Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Missouri. Missouri is a state in the Midwestern United States. With over 6 million residents, it is the 18th most populous state of the Union. The largest urban areas are Kansas City, St. Louis, Springfield, and Columbia. The capital is Jefferson City, located on the Missouri River. The state is the 21st most extensive in area. In the south are the Ozarks, a forested highland, providing timber, minerals, and recreation. The Mississippi River forms the eastern border of the state. Humans have inhabited the land now known as Missouri for at least 12,000 years. The Mississippian culture built cities and mounds, before declining in the 1300s. When European explorers arrived in the 1600s they encountered the Osage and Missourian nations. The French established Louisiana, a part of New France, and founded Saint Genevieve in 1735 and Saint Louis in 1764. After a brief period of Spanish rule, the United States acquired the Louisiana Purchase in 1803. Americans from the Upland South, including enslaved African Americans, rushed into the new Missouri Territory. Many from Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee settled in the Brunswick area of mid-Missouri. Soon after, heavy German immigration formed the Missouri Rhineland. Missouri played a central role in the westward expansion of the United States, as memorialized by the Gateway Arch, the Pony Express, Oregon Trail, Santa Fe Trail, and California Trail all began in Missouri. As a border state, Missouri's role in the American Civil War was complex and there were many conflicts within. After the war, both Greater St. Louis and the Kansas City metropolitan area became centers of industrialization and business. Today, the state is divided into 114 counties and the independent city of St. Louis. Missouri's culture blends elements from the Midwestern and Southern United States. The musical styles of ragtime, Kansas City jazz, and St. Louis blues developed in Missouri. The well-known Kansas City-style barbecue, and lesser-known St. Louis-style barbecue, can be found across the state and beyond. St. Louis is also a major center of beer brewing. Anheuser-Busch is the largest producer in the world. Missouri wine is produced in the nearby Missouri Rhineland and Ozarks. Missouri's alcohol laws are among the most permissive in the United States. Outside of the large cities popular tourist destinations include the Lake of the Ozarks and Branson. Well-known Missourians include U.S. President Harry S. Truman, Mark Twain, Walt Disney, Chuck Berry, and Nellie. Some of the largest companies based in the state include Cerner. Express Scripts, Monsanto, Emerson Electric, Edward Jones, H&R Block, Wells Fargo Advisors and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Missouri has been called the Mother of the West and the Cave State. However, Missouri's most famous nickname is the Show Me State, as Missourians are known for being skeptical. Etymology and Pronunciation the state is named for the Missouri River, which was named after the indigenous Missouri Indians, a Siouan language tribe. It is said that they were called the Umesarita, meaning, those who have dug out canoes, by the Miami, Illinois language speakers. This appears to be folk etymology. The Illinois spoke an Algonquian language and the closest approximation that can be made in that of their close neighbors. The Ojibwe is, you ought to go down a river and visit those people. This would be an odd occurrence, as the French who first explored and attempted to settle the Mississippi River usually got their translations during that time fairly accurate, often giving things French names that were exact translations of the native tongue. Assuming Missouri were deriving from the Siouan language, it would translate as, it connects to the side of it, in reference to the river itself. This isn't entirely likely either, as this would be coming out as, Maya Sunni, most likely, Though, the name Missouri comes from Kiwi language, a fairly unique Siouan dialect spoken by people who resided in the modern-day states of Wisconsin, Iowa, South Dakota, Missouri, and Nebraska. The name, Missouri, has several different pronunciations even among its present-day natives, the two most common being and. Further pronunciations also exist in Missouri or elsewhere in the United States involving the realization of the first syllable as either or, the medial consonant as either or, the vowel in the second syllable as either or, 
and the third syllable as, centralized, or nothing. Any combination of these phonetic realizations may be observed coming from speakers of American English. The linguistic history was treated definitively by Donald M. Lance, who acknowledged that the question is sociologically complex, but that no pronunciation could be declared correct, nor could any be clearly defined as native or outsider, rural or urban, southern or northern, educated or otherwise. Politicians often employ multiple pronunciations, even during a single speech, to appeal to a greater number of listeners. Often, informal respellings of the state's name, such as Missouri or Missouri, are used informally to phonetically distinguish pronunciations. Nicknames There is no official state nickname. However, Missouri's unofficial nickname is the Show Me State, which appears on its license plates. This phrase has several origins. One is popularly ascribed to a speech by Congressman Willard Vandiver in 1899, who declared that, I come, from a state that raises corn and cotton, cockleburs and Democrats, and frothy eloquence neither convinces nor satisfies me. I'm from Missouri. And you have got to show me. This is in keeping with the saying, I'm from Missouri, which means, I'm skeptical of the matter, and not easily convinced. However, according to researchers, the phrase, show me, was already in use before the 1890s. Another one states that it is a reference to Missouri miners who were taken to Leadville, Colorado to replace striking workers, since the new men were unfamiliar with the mining methods. They required frequent instruction. Other nicknames for Missouri include, the Lead State, the Bullion State, the Ozark State, the Mother of the West, the Iron Mountain State, and, Pennsylvania of the West. It is also known as the, Cave State, because there are more than 6,000 recorded caves in the state. Perry County is the county, with the largest number of caves and the single longest cave. The official state motto is, which means, let the welfare of the people be the supreme law. Geography Missouri is landlocked and borders eight different states as does its neighbor, Tennessee. No state in the U.S. touches more than eight. Missouri is bounded by Iowa on the north, by Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee across the Mississippi River on the east, on the south by Arkansas, and by Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska on the west. Whereas the northern and southern boundaries are straight lines, the Missouri Boot Hill protrudes southerly into Arkansas. The two largest rivers are the Mississippi, and the Missouri River essentially connecting the two largest metros of Kansas City and St. Louis. Although today it is usually considered part of the Midwest, Missouri was historically seen by many as a border state, chiefly because of the settlement of migrants from the South and its status as a slave state before the Civil War, balanced by the influence of St. Louis. The counties that made up Little Dixie were those along the Missouri River in the center of the state settled by southern migrants who held the greatest concentration of slaves. In 2005, Missouri received 16,695,000 visitors to its national parks and other recreational areas totaling 101,000 acre, giving it $7.41 million in annual revenues, 26.6% of its operating expenditures. Topography North of, and in some cases just south of, the Missouri River lie the northern plains that stretch into Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. Here, rolling hills remain from the glaciation that once extended from the Canadian Shield to the Missouri River. Missouri has many large river bluffs along the Mississippi, Missouri, and Merrimack Rivers. Southern Missouri rises to the Ozark Mountains, a dissected plateau surrounding the Precambrian Igneous St. Francois Mountains. This region also hosts karst topography characterized by high limestone content with the formation of sinkholes and caves. The southeastern part of the state is known as the Boot Heel region, which is part of the Mississippi Alluvial Plain or Mississippi Embayment. This region is the lowest, flattest, warmest, and wettest part of the state. It is also among the poorest, as the economy there is mostly agricultural. It is also the most fertile with cotton and rice crops predominant. The Boot Hill was the epicenter of the four New Madrid earthquakes of 1811 and 1812. Climate Missouri generally has a humid continental climate with cold snowy winters and hot, humid, and wet summers. In the southern part of the state, 
particularly in the boot heel, the climate becomes humid subtropical. Located in the interior United States, Missouri often experiences extreme temperatures. Without high mountains or oceans nearby to moderate temperature, its climate is alternately influenced by air from the cold Arctic and the hot and humid Gulf of Mexico. Missouri's highest recorded temperature is 118F at Warsaw and Union on July 14, 1954, while the lowest recorded temperature is 40F also at Warsaw on February 13, 1905. Located in Tornado Alley, Missouri also receives extreme weather in the form of severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. The most recent tornado in the state to cause damage and casualties was the 2011 Joplin tornado, which destroyed roughly one-third of the city of Joplin. The tornado caused an estimated $1.3 billion in damages, killed 159, and injured over 1,000 people. It was the first EF-5 to hit the state since 1957 and the deadliest in the U.S. since 1947, making it the seventh deadliest tornado in American history and 27th deadliest in the world. St. Louis and its suburbs also have a history of experiencing particularly severe tornadoes, the most recent memorable one being an EF-4 tornado that damaged Lambert St. Louis International Airport on April 22, 2011. One of the worst tornadoes in American history struck St. Louis on May 27, 1896, killing at least 255 and causing $10 mil damage, or dollar in today's dollars. Wildlife Missouri is home to a diversity of both flora and fauna. There is a large amount of fresh water present due to the Mississippi River, Missouri River, and Lake of the Ozarks, with numerous smaller tributary rivers, streams, and lakes. North of the Missouri River, the state is primarily rolling hills of the Great Plains, whereas south of the Missouri River, the state is dominated by the Oak Hickory Central U.S. Hardwood Forest. History Indigenous peoples inhabited Missouri for thousands of years before European exploration and settlement. Archaeological excavations along the rivers have shown continuous habitation for more than 7,000 years. Beginning before 1000 CE, there arose the complex Mississippian culture, whose people created regional political centers at present-day St. Louis, and across the Mississippi River at Cahokia near present-day Collinsville, Illinois. Their large cities included thousands of individual residences, but they are known for their surviving massive earthwork mounds, built for religious, political and social reasons, in platform, ridgetop and conical shapes. Cahokia was the center of a regional trading network that reached from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico. The civilization declined by 1400 CE, and most descendants left the area long before the arrival of Europeans. St. Louis was at one time known as Mound City by the European Americans, because of the numerous surviving prehistoric mounds, since lost to urban development. The Mississippian culture left mounds throughout the Middle Mississippi and Ohio River valleys, extending into the southeast as well as the Upper River. The first European settlers were mostly ethnic French Canadians, who created their first settlement in Missouri at present-day St. Genevieve, about an hour south of St. Louis. They had migrated about 1750 from the Illinois country. They came from colonial villages on the east side of the Mississippi River, where soils were becoming exhausted, and there was insufficient river bottom land for the growing population. Saint Genevieve became a thriving agricultural center, producing enough surplus wheat, corn and tobacco to ship tons of grain annually downriver to Lower Louisiana for trade. Grain production in the Illinois country was critical to the survival of Lower Louisiana and especially the city of New Orleans. Street Louis was founded soon after by French fur traders, Pierre Laclede and stepson Auguste Choteau from New Orleans in 1764. From 1764 to 1803, European control of the area west of the Mississippi to the northernmost part of the Missouri River Basin, called Louisiana, was assumed by the Spanish as part of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, due to Treaty of Fontainebleau. The arrival of the Spanish in Street Louis was in September 1767. St. Louis became the center of a regional fur trade with Native American tribes that extended up the Missouri and Mississippi rivers, which dominated the regional economy for decades. Trading partners of major firms shipped their furs from St. Louis by river down to New Orleans for export to Europe. They provided a variety of goods to traders for sale and trade with their Native American clients. 
The fur trade and associated businesses made St. Louis an early financial center and provided the wealth for some to build fine houses and import luxury items. Its location near the confluence of the Illinois River meant it also handled produce from the agricultural areas. River traffic and trade along the Mississippi were integral to the state's economy, and as the area's first major city, St. Louis expanded greatly after the invention of the steamboat and the increased river trade. 19th century Napoleon Bonaparte had gained Louisiana for French ownership from Spain in 1800 under the Treaty of San Ildefonso, after it had been a Spanish colony since 1762. But the treaty was kept secret. Louisiana remained nominally under Spanish control until a transfer of power to France on November 30, 1803, just three weeks before the cession to the United States. Part of the 1803 Louisiana purchase by the United States, Missouri earned the nickname Gateway to the West, because it served as a major departure point for expeditions and settlers heading to the West during the 19th century. St. Charles, just west of Street, Louis, was the starting point and the return destination of the Lewis and Clark expedition, which ascended the Missouri River in 1804, in order to explore the western lands to the Pacific Ocean. St. Louis was a major supply point for decades, for parties of settlers heading west. As many of the early settlers in western Missouri migrated from the Upper South, they brought enslaved African Americans as agricultural laborers, and they desired to continue their culture and the institution of slavery. They settled predominantly in 17 counties along the Missouri River, in an area of flatlands that enabled plantation agriculture and became known as Little Dixie. In 1821 the former Missouri Territory was admitted as a slave state, in accordance with the Missouri Compromise, and with a temporary state capital in St. Charles. In 1826, the capital was shifted to its current permanent location of Jefferson City, also on the Missouri River. The state was rocked by the 1811-12 New Madrid earthquakes. Casualties were few due to the sparse population. Originally the state's western border was a straight line, defined as the meridian passing through the Cowsmouth, the point where the Kansas River enters the Missouri River. The river has moved since this designation. This line is known as the Osage Boundary. In 1836 the Platt Purchase was added to the northwest corner of the state after purchase of the land from the native tribes, making the Missouri River the border north of the Kansas River. This addition increased the land area of what was already the largest state in the Union at the time. In the early 1830s, Mormon migrants from northern states and Canada began settling near Independence and areas just north of there. Conflicts over religion and slavery arose between the old settlers and the Mormons. The Mormon War erupted in 1838. By 1839, with the help of an extermination order by Governor Lilburn Boggs, the old settlers forcefully expelled the Mormons from Missouri and confiscated their lands. Conflicts over slavery exacerbated border tensions among the states and territories. From 1838 to 1839, a border dispute with Iowa over the so-called Honey Lands resulted in both states calling up of militias along the border. With increasing migration, from the 1830s to the 1860s Missouri's population almost doubled with every decade. Most of the newcomers were American-born, but many Irish and German immigrants arrived in the late 1840s and 1850s. As a majority were Catholic, they set up their own religious institutions in the state had been mostly Protestant, having fled famine and oppression in Ireland, and revolutionary upheaval in Germany. The immigrants were not sympathetic to slavery. Many settled in cities, where they created a regional and then state network of Catholic churches and schools. Nineteenth-century German immigrants created the wine industry along the Missouri River and the beer industry in St. Louis. Most Missouri farmers practiced subsistence farming before the American Civil War. The majority of those who held slaves had fewer than five each. Planters, defined by some historians as those holding twenty slaves or more, were concentrated in the counties known as Little Dixie, in the central part of the state along the Missouri River. The tensions over slavery chiefly had to do with the future of the state and nation. In 1860, enslaved African Americans made up less than 10% of the state's population of 1,182,012. 
in order to control the flooding of farmland and low-lying villages along the Mississippi. The state had completed construction of 140 miles of levees along the river by 1860. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like